So next we want to, well, next what we want to do is we want to create <coughs> a table. So there's a table that has two columns in it. So this one are columns, these one are the rows. So we right now we are calling, uh, we are creating the columns. So remember columns are always way less than the rows that we can have. <clears throat> For example, a college department may only have 10 columns but number of student could be in thousands right so for each student that will be a row so to create a table with two columns we will they will be department number and department name first we want to make sure that we are working in Google and we are if we were not if we were in another we could use the use command and see so since we um, deleted that let's see what happens if I we try to use ETL it will does not exist so now we are in Google we are good now we're gonna create a table with two columns so we are creating a table so create what we are creating a table that's why because normally if we are creating a database uh, we we say create database so this time we're creating a table and what's the name like always we give it a name so <clears throat> the name is given to us department number so we write it exactly like that and then we put this sorry I have a bad uh, throat uh, so I have to pause it now this department number we need to give it like uh, oh I'm sorry this is not the department number this is department so this is the table name and in there we can enter and then there is a department number we need to assign a value to it so since it's a number so it's an integer we can say department number and integer sorry so each time it's uh, we are mentioning these columns so if there is another column after the one that we just wrote we will separate it by a comma if there is none then we'll, we won't, will not put a comma in there so we can enter and we are entering only because we want to see it uh, differently so the other one is department name right and department name can, can be a variable character right <clears throat> it could be science too or it could be sociology if there are two department for science or right so that's why we will v-a-r-c-h-a-r and with the, if we can define that how long the department name can be with for that we do another two smaller brackets and let's say we put 20 in there so see it got highlighted meaning this closing one is closing this one so we probably need another one to close the upper one so if I go there see it's highlighting and telling me which one it's closing right but we're not done are we so we're gonna remove this we're gonna put a comma <clears throat> and then we're gonna put another this one and end it so let me see if I remove this comma will it work or not so I can write all this in a single line by this let me see create table department Department number integer department name variable character and we get it 20 and we close it and so this could be written like this way or in this way so this one is easier to uh, read for human if you are checking so 
it's really up to if you're uh, if you're advanced and you, you can do that now uh, you you're well versed then you can do it this way so i'm gonna go with this and i'm gonna run it see if i can execute it or i get an error it's telling me that this commands <coughs> completed successfully for the matter i'm gonna copy it and i'm gonna let's move on let's create a department 2 here and execute this one as well with the a comma here see if I can get this to work or if it, it will error out the reason what the, it's a successfully so the table has been created but what I want to see is this comma is uh, we are supposed to or not let's execute it and successfully so whether you put a comma or not it will be done so that's how you create tables in a database.